Hello and welcome to your Beaufort County News Headlines. I'm Chloe G and here are today's top stories. The Tower of Flames leapt from the car's wreckage, disrupting the early morning darkness on May River Road with a harsh glow. A passenger was trapped inside and only seconds remained before the vehicle would be swallowed in fire. Two policemen, one Bluffton officer and one Beaufort County Sheriff's Department received high honors last week for their quick, life-saving response on September 22nd incident. Working together, the two officers showed no hesitation in removing a passenger from the burning car before it was completely engulfed in flames. Officer Azale Young, who was 27, has served with the Bluffton Police Department for a year. He received the agency's first ever Medal of Valor Award. It's the highest honor given by the department, and it's reserved for officers who risk their own life to help save that of another, according to the Chief of Police, Joe Babkowitz. Also accepting recognition was Staff Sergeant Brian Case, who is 41. He's a nine-year veteran of the Beaufort County Sheriff's Office. He received the department's life-saving award at the same ceremony on Wednesday. The honor is handed out multiple times a year, primarily for medical calls, but in this case, it was used to commend a heroic rescue that could have taken the sergeant's own life. A police report says the sedan caught fire after striking a tree near the intersection of SC-46 in Browns Bluff Lane around 1.40 a.m. on September 22nd. The driver exited the vehicle, leaving the passenger stuck inside, according to Sheriff's Office spokesperson Master Sergeant Daniel Allen. Dashcam video from a Bluffton police cruiser shows Officer Young approaching the burning car with a crowbar in hand, forcing open the front passenger door with the help of a bystander. Sergeant Case then arrived with a fire extinguisher, fending off flames to allow Young to unbuckle the passenger and drag him to safety. Beaufort County continues to coordinate with Power Utilities, SCDOT and SCEMD, and local emergency management officials to coordinate cleanup and recovery efforts after Hurricane Helene. I want to thank our residents for the resiliency and the compassion that we've seen through this storm. I've seen neighbors helping each other in clearing debris, sharing resources, and helping those without power. We extend our gratitude to all emergency and first responders, utility workers, and public works crews who worked tirelessly through this event, Express County Administrator Michael Moore. Beaufort County will continue to support and coordinate response and cleanup efforts throughout the county, but as we begin to see our area return to a sense of normalcy, our hearts are heavy as we look to the hardest hit areas across the southeast. Several community groups are organizing donation drives for those in worst impacted areas, demonstrating the unique community spirit of Beaufort County. The Beaufort County Assessor's Office has set up a web form for real property owners to self-report structure damage from Hurricane Helene. This form is applicable to both residential and commercial property owners. If you have damage to a structure on your property, please report it to the Beaufort County Assessor's Office by either using the form or calling 843-255-2400. Staff members available to assist those calling in with damage. These damage reports help Beaufort County correctly assess and report damage to the state and other agencies. South Carolina high school football coaches are hoping to get an extension to the 2024 season as a large part of the state deals with lingering effects from Hurricane Helene. We kind of hope the South Carolina High School League comes in and gives us another week, Newberry High coach Cedric Jeter told the state on Monday. I know a large part of the western part of this state is without power. The SC High School League could decide to add a week to a regular season that is currently set to end on November 1st, which would also reschedule the start and end of playoffs. If that happens, makeup games could be played during the extra week of the season, and for schools that aren't affected, the extra time would serve as an off week before the playoffs. SCHSL Commissioner Jerome Singleton told the state on Monday afternoon that no decision has been made on adding an extra week to the regular season yet. He did say, however, that suspending or pausing the season is not an option, especially for schools that will be able to play this week. That is all the time we have left. If you're interested in hearing more about any of these stories, please check out any of the sources that you see on your screen. Thank you and have a great rest of your Wednesday, Beaufort County.